Welcome to our channel, History of Everything. Today we speak about history of Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan, officially the Republic of Kazakhstan, is a landlocked country mostly in Central Asia, with a part in Eastern Europe. It borders Russia to the north and west, China to the east, Kyrgyzstan to the southeast, Uzbekistan to the south, and Turkmenistan to the southwest, with a coastline along the Caspian Sea. Its capital is Astana, while the largest city and leading cultural and commercial hub is Almaty. Kazakhstan is the world's ninth largest country by land area and the largest landlocked country. It has a population of 20 million and one of the lowest population densities in the world, at fewer than 6 people per square kilometer, 16 people per square mile. Ethnic Kazakhs constitute a majority, while ethnic Russians form a significant minority. Officially secular, Kazakhstan is a Muslim-majority country, although ethnic Russians in the country form a sizable Christian community. Kazakhstan has been inhabited since the Paleolithic era. In antiquity, various nomadic Iranian peoples such as the Saka, Masajte, and Scythians dominated the territory, with the Achaemenid Persian Empire expanding towards the southern region. Turkic nomads entered the region from as early as the 6th century. In the 13th century, the area was subjugated by the Mongol Empire under Genghis Khan. Following the disintegration of the Golden Horde in the 15th century, the Kazakh Khanate was established over an area roughly corresponding with modern Kazakhstan. By the 18th century, the Kazakh Khanate had fragmented into three Jews, tribal divisions, which were gradually absorbed and conquered by the Russian Empire. By the mid-19th century, all of Kazakhstan was nominally under Russian rule. Following the 1917 Russian Revolution and subsequent Russian Civil War, the territory was reorganized several times. In 1936, its modern borders were established with the formation of the Kazakh Soviet Socialist Republic within the Soviet Union. Kazakhstan was the last Soviet Republic to declare independence during the dissolution of the Soviet Union from 1988 to 1991. Kazakhstan dominates Central Asia economically and politically, accounting for 60% of the region's GDP, primarily through its oil and gas industry, it also has vast mineral resources. Kazakhstan has the highest human development index ranking in the region. It is de jure a democratic, unitary, constitutional republic, however, it is de facto an authoritarian regime with no free elections. Nevertheless, there have been incremental efforts at democratization and political reform since the 2019 resignation of President Nursultan Nazarbayev. Kazakhstan is a member state of the United Nations, World Trade Organization, Commonwealth of Independent States, Shanghai Cooperation Organization, Eurasian Economic Union, Collective Security Treaty Organization, Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe, Organization of Islamic Cooperation, Organization of Turkic States, and International Organization of Turkic Culture. Kazakhstan has been inhabited since the Paleolithic era. The Botai culture, 3730 BC, is credited with the first domestication of horses. The Botai population derived most of their ancestry from a deeply European-related population known as ancient North Eurasians, while also displaying some ancient East Asian admixture. Pastoralism developed during the Neolithic. The population was Caucasoid during the Bronze and Iron Age period. The Kazakh territory was a key constituent of the Eurasian trading steppe route, the ancestor of the terrestrial Silk Roads. Archaeologists believe that humans first domesticated the horse in the region's vast steppes. During recent prehistoric times, Central Asia was inhabited by groups such as the possibly Indo-European Afanasivo culture, later early Indo-Iranian cultures such as Andronovo, and later Indo-Iranians such as the Saka and Masajte. Other groups included the nomadic Scythians and the Persian Achaemenid Empire in the southern territory of the modern country. The Andronovo and Srubnaya cultures, precursors to the peoples of the Scythian cultures, were found to harbor mixed ancestry from the Yamnaya steppe herders and peoples of the Central European Middle Neolithic. In 329 BC, Alexander the Great and his Macedonian army fought in the Battle of Jaxarts against the Scythians along the Jaxarts River, now known as the Sir Darya along the southern border of modern Kazakhstan. Kuman Kipchak and the Golden Horde the main migration of Turkic peoples occurred between the 5th and 11th centuries when they spread across most of Central Asia. The Turkic peoples slowly replaced and assimilated the previous Iranian-speaking locals, turning the population of Central Asia from largely Iranian, into primarily of East Asian descent. The first Turkic cognate was founded by Buman in 552 on the Mongolian plateau and quickly spread west toward the Caspian Sea. The Gokturks drove before them various peoples. Exionites, Uar, Ogres and others. 
These seem to have merged into the Avars and Bulgars. Within 35 years the eastern half and the western Turkic Khaganate were independent. The western Khaganate reached its peak in the early 7th century. The Cumans entered the steppes of modern-day Kazakhstan around the early 11th century, where they later joined with the Kipchak and established the vast Kuman Kipchak Confederation. While ancient cities Taraz, Ali Ada, and Hazrat-e Turkestan had long served as important way stations along the Silk Road connecting Asia and Europe, true political consolidation began only with the Mongol rule of the early 13th century. Under the Mongol Empire, the first strictly structured administrative districts, Ulus, were established. After the division of the Mongol Empire in 1259, the land that would become modern-day Kazakhstan was ruled by the Golden Horde, also known as the Ulus of Hochi. During the Golden Horde period, a Turco-Mongol tradition emerged among the ruling elite wherein Turkicized descendants of Genghis Khan followed Islam and continued to reign over the lands. Kazakh Khanate. In 1465, the Kazakh Khanate emerged as a result of the dissolution of the Golden Horde. Established by Janabek Khan and Kare Khan, it continued to be ruled by the Turco-Mongol clan of Tor, Jaka dynasty. Throughout this period, traditional nomadic life and a livestock-based economy continued to dominate the steppe. In the 15th century, a distinct Kazakh identity began to emerge among the Turkic tribes. This was followed by the Kazakh War of Independence, where the Khanate gained its sovereignty from the Shaybanids. The process was consolidated by the mid-16th century with the appearance of the Kazakh language, culture, and economy. Nevertheless, the region was the focus of ever-increasing disputes between the native Kazakh emirs and the neighboring Persian-speaking peoples to the south. At its height, the Khanate would rule parts of Central Asia and control Kumania. The Kazakh Khanate's territories would expand deep into Central Asia. By the early 17th century, the Kazakh Khanate was struggling with the impact of tribal rivalries, which had effectively divided the population into the great, middle and little, or small, hordes, Jews. Political disunion tribal rivalries, and the diminishing importance of overland trade routes between east and west weakened the Kazakh Khanate. The Kiva Khanate used this opportunity and annexed the Manjishlik Peninsula. Uzbek rule there lasted two centuries until the Russian arrival. During the 17th century, the Kazakhs fought the Oyarats, a federation of western Mongol tribes, including the Dzungar. The beginning of the 18th century marked the zenith of the Kazakh Khanate. During this period the Little Horde participated in the 1723-1730 war against the Dzungar Khanate, following their, great disaster, invasion of Kazakh territory. Under the leadership of Abul Kher Khan, the Kazakhs won major victories over the Dzungar at the Bulanti River in 1726 and at the Battle of Onyurakai in 1729. Ablai Khan participated in the most significant battles against the Dzungar from the 1720s to the 1750s, for which he was declared a, batter, hero by the people. The Kazakhs suffered from the frequent raids against them by the Volga Kalmykes. The Kokand Khanate used the weakness of Kazakh Jews after Dzungar and Kalmyk raids and conquered present southeastern Kazakhstan, including Almaty, the formal capital in the first quarter of the 19th century. The Emirate of Bukhara ruled Simkant before the Russians gained dominance. Russian Kazakhstan. For the resettlement during much of this time, the competition for land and water that ensued between the Kazakhs and the newcomers caused great resentment against colonial rule during the final years of the Russian Empire. The most serious uprising, the Central Asian Revolt, occurred in 1916. The Kazakhs attacked Russian and Cossack settlers and military garrisons. The revolt resulted in a series of clashes and in brutal massacres committed by both sides. Both sides resisted the communist government until late 1919. Kazakh SSR Following the collapse of central government in Petrograd in November 1917, the Kazakhs then in Russia officially referred to as Kyrgyz, experienced a brief period of autonomy, the Alash autonomy before eventually succumbing to the Bolsheviks' rule. On 26 August 1920, the Kyrgyz Autonomous Socialist Soviet Republic within the Russian Soviet Federative Socialist Republic, RSFSR, was established. The Kyrgyz ASSR included the territory of present-day Kazakhstan, but its administrative center was the mainly Russian-populated town of Orenburg. In June 1925, the Kyrgyz ASSR was renamed the Kazakh ASSR and its administrative center was transferred to the town of Kizilorda, and in April 1927 to Alma-Ada. Soviet repression of the traditional elite, along with forced collectivization in the late 1920s and 1930s, brought famine and high fatalities, leading to unrest see also, famine in Kazakhstan of 1932-33.
During the 1930s, some members of the Kazakh intelligentsia were executed, as part of the policies of political reprisals pursued by the Soviet government in Moscow. On 5 December 1936, the Kazakh Autonomous Soviet Socialist Republic, whose territory by then corresponded to that of modern Kazakhstan, was detached from the Russian Soviet Federative Socialist Republic RSFSR, and made the Kazakh Soviet Socialist Republic, a full Union Republic of the USSR, one of 11 such republics at the time, along with the Kyrgyz Soviet Socialist Republic. The republic was one of the destinations for exiled and convicted persons, as well as for mass resettlements, or deportations affected by the central USSR authorities during the 1930s and 1940s, such as approximately 400,000 Volga Germans deported from the Volga German Autonomous Soviet Socialist Republic in September-October 1941, and then later the Greeks and Crimean Tatars. Deportees and prisoners were interned in some of the biggest Soviet labor camps, the Gulag, including Alzir camp outside Astana which was reserved for the wives of men considered, enemies of the people. Many moved due to the policy of population transfer in the Soviet Union and others were forced into involuntary settlements in the Soviet Union. The Soviet-German War, 1941-1945, led to an increase in industrialization and mineral extraction in support of the war effort. At the time of Joseph Stalin's death in 1953, however, Kazakhstan still had an overwhelmingly agricultural economy. In 1953, Soviet leader Nikita Khrushchev initiated the Virgin Lands campaign designed to turn the traditional pasturelands of Kazakhstan into a major grain-producing region for the Soviet Union. The Virgin Lands policy brought mixed results. However, along with later modernizations under Soviet leader Leonid Brezhnev, in power 1964-1982, it accelerated the development of the agricultural sector, which remains the source of livelihood for a large percentage of Kazakhstan's population. Because of the decades of privation, war and resettlement, by 1959 the Kazakhs had become a minority, making up 30% of the population. Ethnic Russians accounted for 43%. In 1947, the USSR, as part of its atomic bomb project, founded an atomic bomb test site near the northeastern town of Semipolitansk, where the first Soviet nuclear bomb test was conducted in 1949. Hundreds of nuclear tests were conducted until 1989 with adverse consequences for the nation's environment and population. The anti-nuclear movement in Kazakhstan became a major political force in the late 1980s. In April 1961, Baikonur became the springboard of Vostok 1, a spacecraft with Soviet cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin being the first human to enter space. In December 1986, mass demonstrations by young ethnic Kazakhs, later called the Jeltikson Riot, took place in Almaty to protest the replacement of the first secretary of the Communist Party of the Kazakh SSR Dinmukhamed Khanayev with Gennady Kolbin from the Russian SFSR. Governmental troops suppressed the unrest, several people were killed, and many demonstrators were jailed. In the waning days of Soviet rule, discontent continued to grow and found expression under Soviet leader Mikhail Gorbachev's policy of glasnost openness. Independence. On 25 October 1990, Kazakhstan declared its sovereignty on its territory as a republic within the Soviet Union. Following the August 1991 aborted coup attempt in Moscow, Kazakhstan declared independence on 16 December 1991, thus becoming the last Soviet republic to declare independence. Ten days later, the Soviet Union itself ceased to exist. Kazakhstan's communist-era leader, Nursultan Nazarbayev, became the country's first president. Nazarbayev ruled in an authoritarian manner. An emphasis was placed on converting the country's economy to a market economy while political reforms lagged behind economic advances. By 2006, Kazakhstan was generating 60% of the GDP of Central Asia, primarily through its oil industry. In 1997, the government moved the capital to Astana, renamed Nur Sultan on 23 March 2019, from Almaty, Kazakhstan's largest city, where it had been established under the Soviet Union. Elections to the Majilis in September 2004, yielded a lower house dominated by the pro-government Odin party, headed by President Nazarbayev. Two other parties considered sympathetic to the president, including the agrarian industrial bloc AIST and the Asar party, founded by President Nazarbayev's daughter, won most of the remaining seats. The opposition parties which were officially registered and competed in the elections won a single seat. The Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe was monitoring the election, which it said fell short of international standards. 5-0. In March 2011, Nazarbayev outlined the progress made toward democracy by Kazakhstan. 
As of 2010, Kazakhstan was reported on the Democracy Index by The Economist as an authoritarian regime, which was still the cases of the 2022 report. On 19 March 2019, Nazarbayev announced his resignation from the presidency. Kazakhstan Senate Speaker Kasim Jomart Tokayev won the 2019 presidential election that was held on 9 June. His first official act was to rename the capital after his predecessor. In June 2019, the new president, Kasim Jomart Tokayev, won Kazakhstan's presidential election. In January 2022, the country plunged into political unrest following a spike in fuel prices. In consequence, President Qasem Jomart Tokayev took over as head of the powerful Security Council, removing his predecessor Nursultan Nazarbayev from the post. In September 2022, the name of the country's capital was changed back to Astana from Nur Sultan. Thank you for listening friends. Keep going. Thank you for listening friends. Keep support.